Hi, it's Ruth Fleming here and welcome to video six of this nine part video series on understanding your patterns with the Enneagram. So today's video is on type six, which is the questioner. So the questioner is basically a pattern that some people run and it's basically about the need to have stability and security and it's also sort of fear based. So there's kind of there's two types of sixes in this pattern. So one is what we call the phobic six and that's generally about feeling fearful but this feeling of almost like seeking approval from outside of ourselves and seeking approval from other people which becomes really important. And then the other side of that is the counterphobic six, which again is, is about having that fear about something or about the world, but actually facing the fear. So doing the complete opposite. So despite the fear, really going for it and really pushing yourself to do this thing that you're afraid of or you know face whatever it is that's struggling, that's a struggle for you. So, and then sometimes you have people that have this pattern where the two is going on together. So, you know, you've got the fear and the need for approval and security, but then you've also got the other part of you that wants to face your fear and go for it. And sometimes those two things sort of come together and it can be quite difficult because you're flitting between one and the other. So again, with all these patterns, you know, it's it's got, you know, positive sides and then like less helpful sides. But the flavor of this is very much about fear and anxiety. So, you know, even though you might be somebody with this pattern and because you have this pattern, it actually gets you to do some amazing, incredible things in the world, which is great, you know, because we need, you know, I always say we need that kind of thing. It's great to have people that do that sort of stuff and it can feel pretty great too. But what is important is to look at what is motivating you to do it because it's okay to face your fears. It's a good thing. And I think we all have to do it to certain to a certain extent, but it's how you feel when you're doing it. So if you're really somebody that's really fearful and you've got a lot of fear and anxiety in you, that can be quite exhausting. You know, like a lot of these patterns, it can be quite a difficult way to live constantly. It's almost like your, you know, your body will be on high alert looking around to sort of almost expecting danger or expecting something bad to happen. Um, and that can put a lot of pressure on you with your stress levels, your body, your health. And then there's also that side of if you're constantly seeking approval because of your fear, um, it causes a lot of doubt. And if you're doubting yourself, that's also a really difficult way to live because you're not standing in your power. You're not standing in the truth of who you are because you're constantly second guessing yourself. And it makes it incredibly difficult to do things in the world without people's approval. So that can be quite limiting, you know, especially if you're trying to create things for yourself. Um, and very often, you know, we might have friends or family that don't give us that support, or they maybe just don't say very much about what we're doing. And that can be quite a difficult way to be if you're running this pattern. And there is a lot of sort of fear and anxiety underneath. So if you don't recognize this pattern, you know, it's just about, again, it's always just, being self-aware, knowing that it's there, and then stepping back and then asking yourself, am I doing this thing out of fear? Am I feeling anxious? Am I? Are those feelings coming up for me? Because if you know they're coming up, that's when you can actually start to look at them and work with them. Because, you know, we, you might have that natural instinct to be fearful, but actually, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to work with that. And life becomes so much easier if you can live in the world without sort of being on constant alert and worrying about what could happen or what might happen or what could happen or what should happen. Um, and, you know, the need to have security all of the time, because, of course, as we know, you know, life is life and we can't always guarantee that everything is going to be stable all the time. So this is the this is the pattern of the questioner. Um, you know, and it's asking yourself questions and sort of second guessing and doubting yourself and a lot of mental stuff again that comes up. So just notice this pattern in yourself if you do have it. 
and yeah just you know accepting what's there and, and looking at ways to work with this as well if it does come up for you so that is um, type six the questioner and in the next video I'll be talking to you about type seven which is the adventurer so take care and I'll speak to you again really soon Thank you.